In this video, I will show you the differences between a major in computer science and physics and which can make for the better major overall. According to Payscale, the average salary of someone who has a bachelor's degree in computer science is $86,000. And also according to Payscale, the average salary of someone with a bachelor's degree in physics is $87,000. The similarity could be because physics majors often end up in computer science type roles, such as software engineer. There are many different types of jobs that a computer science degree can open you up to. They can include software engineer, database administrator, data scientist, machine learning engineer, application developer, web developer and a computer systems administrator. Most computer science majors end up taking roles as a software engineer, which is one of the highest rated jobs currently available. When interviewing for these roles, you will be tested mainly on data structures and algorithms, which you will learn about during your time in the major. It is important to make sure to be comfortable with data structures and algorithms, since they are a key part of the interview process. The Bureau of Labour Statistics shows that there are almost 1.5 million software engineering jobs available, with a 22% predicted job growth over the next decade. A computer science degree combined with software engineering projects and internships should put you in a good position upon graduating. Data science and machine learning are also becoming popular among computer science majors. If you want to get a job in data science or machine learning, it would help to take classes in data analysis and machine learning, to learn Python programming, and to complete data science or machine learning projects. According to the American Physical Society, in 2014, only 5% of people with a bachelor's degree in physics got a job directly related to physics. 36% ended up in engineering roles and 23% ended up in computer information or systems roles. This means that it will likely be difficult for you to find jobs directly related to physics and you will likely need to look for jobs in other fields. If you get a physics degree, you can greatly improve your job prospects by taking classes that are related to certain types of jobs or getting a minor in a more applied field such as computer science or engineering. According to Payscale, common jobs people who have a degree in physics get includes software engineer, data scientist, physicist, research scientist, data analyst, mechanical engineer, electrical engineer, optical engineer, process engineer and a manufacturing engineer. Many of those jobs will require a more advanced degree including physicist and research scientist. Many physics majors get jobs in engineering positions, however many of them likely actually went on and got a master's degree in areas of engineering, or took a lot of engineering classes as undergrads. Also, it will be more difficult to get a job in engineering with a degree in physics than with an actual engineering degree. Physics majors also often end up in software engineering positions. This is why a physics degree can become a lot more employable if you combine it with a computer science minor. Data science is also becoming a popular career path among physics majors, and it would also help to combine it with data science, statistics and machine learning classes where possible, and data science or machine learning projects. If you choose to major in physics, it is very important that you make sure to choose your electives according to the jobs you are interested in and to self-study where needed. If you just rely on the required classes in physics, it will likely be difficult for you to find more specialised jobs that pay well. Physics combined with computer science, statistics, data science and machine learning classes as well as projects in software engineering, data science and machine learning would make it a lot more employable since software engineering, data science and machine learning engineering are all quickly growing job roles. 
Generally, computer science is considered as one of the easier STEM majors, and most people would agree that it is easier than a physics major. With that being said, the major will still require a lot of work at times, especially in your junior and senior years. A physics major can be a very difficult major, and you will have to put a lot of time into the major. Classes you can expect to take in a computer science major can include Introduction to Programming, Data Structures and Algorithms, Assembly Language, Databases, Computer Architecture and Computer Networks. You can also expect to take some Mathematics classes including Linear Algebra, Discrete Math and Calculus. In addition, you will have the choice to take other computer science classes as electives as a part of your degree requirements. Some classes you might have the choice of taking could also include classes in machine learning, artificial intelligence, computer graphics and other computer networks classes. In a physics degree, you will have to take a number of math classes in order to take some of the more advanced physics classes. You can expect to take math classes such as differential calculus, integral calculus, multivariable calculus, differential equations, linear algebra and partial differential equations. In addition, you can also expect to have the option to take more advanced math classes if you would like. You might also have the option to take some classes from related disciplines such as statistics, engineering and computer science. You can also expect to take physics classes including Introduction to Physics, Mechanics, Electricity and Magnetism, Quantum Physics, Statistical Mechanics and Thermodynamics. Generally, you can expect to have better job prospects with a degree in computer science when compared with just a bachelor's degree in physics. If you also take classes related to specific job roles, complete projects and do internships, your job prospects will be even better. Also, computer science majors are usually easier than physics majors. This should mean that you will have the ability to spend more time working on projects, applying to jobs and internships and completing research projects. Physics can also be a very interesting subject and many students really enjoy their time in the major. Also, the mathematics used in the undergraduate physics classes tends to be more applied and not proof heavy, which most students prefer. If you are planning on going to graduate school in physics, then physics would also be a good option for an undergraduate major. However, in this case, it would likely also help to take more math classes since graduate level physics will make use of more advanced math. While a physics degree will not usually give as many job opportunities as a computer science degree, it can still give a lot of opportunities depending on the classes that you take. It would help a lot to consider what you would like to do after graduating and to make sure to take classes related to that. Combining physics with a computer science minor could also be a good option since many physics students get programming roles after graduating. This should help to give you good job prospects upon graduating while still allowing you to study physics if that is what you are most interested in.